the scuba. More than 30 years since Roger Moore's 007 put the idea in every guy's head, someone has finally replicated the underwater auto experience. Swiss design company Resspeed has created the scuba. $1.4 million is the price tag. It's the world's first submarine car. Based on the Lotus at least, it was called the Lotus Spirit in the Spy Who Loved Me, James Bond film. The all-electric convertible can drive up to the lake in style and then drive underwater to the depths of over 30 feet. The car's engine was removed and replaced with three motors. One for land driving, good for up to 75 miles per hour, and two others for the underwater propellers. Power is supplied by rechargeable lithium-ion batteries. There's only one of these, and we haven't seen any replicas as of yet. Let's get into our second one. The Gib Quatsky. The Gib Quatsky looks like a savage blend of the best characteristics of an all-terrain vehicle in a jet ski. One of its most impressive features is the ability to transform from one to another simply at the switch of a button. This device is powered by a BMW Motor K1300 engine, which gives it the ability to rocket at speeds up to 45 miles per hour on both land and water. Carefully constructed from lightweight material, the Quadski has a compositive whole wide track and low center of gravity, which goes a long way to ensure its stability. The Quadski has a range of over 600 kilometers or 372 miles on land and can travel up to two hours over water. The Humdinger. Looking more like a boat with wheels than a car that can float, the Gibbs Humdinger is tough and it's a utility vehicle that can act as a workhorse on both land and water. Powered by a diesel Mercury Marine V8, the Humdinger puts down 370 horsepower either through the wheels or through their propellers. With nine seats, a top speed of 80 miles per hour on land and 30 miles per hour on water, the Gibbs Humdinger can easily keep up with the capabilities of dedicated on-road and on-water utility vehicles. Capable of highway speeds on land and speeds in excess of 30 miles per hour on water, the four-wheel transitions between land and water in seconds. At seven meters long, it's available in three-seaters and six-seater configurations, making it ideal for personal and commercial use and effective in first responder situations where response times can be vital. It as well has robust on-water and off-road capabilities that allows its task, be it recreational, utility, rescue, or otherwise, to be completed rapidly and efficiently. The Gibbs Bisky. At the touch of a button, the Gibbs Bisky can transform from a motorcycle to a jet ski. Indeed, the Bisky is truly unique. As a single seat or single plus pillion two jet HSA motorcycle, it's a world's first in many ways. At just 92.5 inches long and under one millimeter or 37.4 inches wide, it's the smallest of all Gibbs high-speed amphibious platforms and very probably the most technically advanced. It represents true freedom for the individual. This vehicle can run on speeds up to 80 miles per hour on land and 37 miles per hour on water. With its 55 horsepower twin cylinder engine to switch from land to water, use just a flip of a button. Wait for the rear wheel to get fully retracted and you can get ready to cruise. Number five, the Rin Speed Splash. A wild one-off concept from Switzerland that cost over $1 million. The Rin Speed Splash is among the most unique amphibious cars out there. The car has a 750cc engine from a snowmobile and that's just what's under the hood. Rather than just using a traditional boat hull, the splash boiler swings around to act as a hydrofoil. Essentially, wings for the water 
hydrofoils are the technology used in advanced high-speed boats and that applies directly to the splash. Using an efficient 140 HP motor, the rinse speed splash is the true resurrection of a really cool, fun sports toy. Under the ultralight carbon composite skin lies much more than just an agile and lively sports car. A highly complex, integrated hydrofoil system enables the splash to fly at altitudes of about 60 centimeters above the water. The Sherp ATV The Sherp ATV is one of the most sought-after all-terrain vehicles on the market. Renowned for its ability to conquer all manners of terrain, the Sharp battles rocky land with the same ease as it tears through fallen trees. Obstacles have been demonstrated to be insufficient to stop this vehicle on its rampage. There has been videos showcasing the Sharp's overcoming height its tallest 70 centimeters high. Thanks to the 800 liter capacity tires, the Sharp can float in deep waters travel at respectable speeds of 28 miles per hour on land and 3.7 miles per hour in water, while steadily plowing through anything man and nature can fling its way. You can have yourself a Sharp ATV at price starting from $65,000. The ATV Shemin 8x8. Another impressive amphibious ATV also from Russia is the ATV Shemin 8x8 and it's very big. The overall dimension measures at 20.7 feet long, 8.2 feet wide, and 8.9 feet high. Ground clearance is about 18 inches and turn radius is a little shorter than 25 feet. Power is generated from an Iveco F1C 3.0 liter diesel engine that delivers up to 170 horsepower with a curb weight of 4,800 kilograms and a maximum payload of nearly one and a half tons. The top speed is 44 miles per hour on land and 4.3 miles per hour on water. With the optional propellers attached, fuel consumption is at 9.4 miles per gallon. The vehicle's a little pricey, starting off at $244,917. The Argo Frontier 8x8. If you go past nowhere and take a left at the boondocks, you arrive in an awe-inspiring destination called Out There. It's populated with nothing but streams and prairies, boundaries and big skies, sights of majestic scenes, and unforgettable heights. And the amphibious Frontier 8x8 series is the perfect guide for the journey. There's three different configurations starting at $12,000 up to $16,000 with a shipping fee as well. The engine VX650 has instant torque clutch as well as steel offset rims and low pressure 24 inch tires are custom engineered with paddle design for amphibious propulsion through water and optimized traction on the most extreme off-road and terrains. The Cybertruck the Cybertruck is not out yet, but this summer it should be hitting the streets and perhaps the water. Elon indicated that the Cybertruck should be able to serve as a boat for short periods of time. The Cybercat foiler takes this one step further by adding hydrofoils to maximize sufficiency of the water and unleashing industrial leading performance for an all electric watercraft. It is equipped with 1 to 550 kilowatt outboard motors, which they aim to have powered by the Cybertruck's battery pack. Combined with the Cybertruck's adaptive air suspension, the concept could potentially make the Cybertruck amazingly amphibious. The price of the Cybertruck could be from 35 to 50,000, we're not sure, but the Cybercat will be an additional accessory or add on. The Ultra Heavy Lift Amphibious Connector, or the UHAC, is a monster. 
It's 42 feet long, 26 feet wide, and 17 feet high, weighs 38 tons, and can travel up to 4 to 5 knots or 5 miles per hour in water. The hull was made of aluminum with a small pilot house mounted on the bow. Using track feet fitted with dense air impregnated foam blocks make it buoyant in the water and propose it on land, allowing it to traverse through mud, sand, and marshlands when ashore. You are watching Watts Lockham Key. Click the link and subscribe because we have those fire updates on Watts Lockham Key. You are watching Watts Lockham Key.